chapter 7. Let's jump right into some definitions. Cladogenesis occurs when a lineage splits into two. This is unlike anagenesis. Anagenesis is simply evolution within a lineage over time. A rooted tree is a phylogenetic tree that allows us to see the distance between OTUs and the order of divergence. An operational taxonomic unit, or an OTU, is grouping based off of similarities. An internal node is a point that represents a common ancestor. And finally, an outgroup is an OTU that is known to have diverged earlier than all of the other OTUs. Here is my attempt at a kitchen utensil phylogenetic tree. You can see here that we have the saucepan evolving into the cast iron skillet and then diverging into the pot and skillet through cladogenesis. Next, we see that the pot evolves into a bowl over time and we see that the skillet diverges into a baking and cooking spatula and the cooking spatula then diverges into a fork and knife. In this hypothetical phylogenetic tree, we see that the longer the branches, the more time is represented. Thus, the shorter branches represent items that are more closely related. As you can see, the cast iron skillet is the outgroup because it diverged earlier than all of the other operational taxonomic units. And the internal nodes here represent the most recent common ancestors between the species where the lineages diverged. Here I have represented where cladogenesis or the splitting of a lineage in two occurs. We see that it occurs from the saucepan to the pot and skillet, from the skillet to the baking and cooking spatulas, and from the cooking spatula to the fork and knife. Thus, we see that it occurs three times. On this slide, I have represented where anagen anagenesis occurs. This is the evolution that occurs without the splitting of a lineage. It occurs from the saucepan to the cast iron skillet and from the pot to the bowl. Thus, it occurs two times. Thank you for listening and a great semester. Have a great summer.